This is how to sit with your djembe. The djembe is a West African style drum, it's one of my favorite drums, they're so beautiful. And whenever we're playing them, one of the first things that's important to learn is how to sit correctly with the djembe so that you can be comfortable and so that you can get a good sound out of the drum. First thing is that you want to sit out at the edge of your chair. So it's a good idea to have some kind of chair that doesn't have arms on it. The second thing to know is that underneath the djembe, so at the bottom of the djembe, is this hole. It's called a sound hole. This is where a lot of the low-end frequencies come out of the drum. So it's really important that we allow some space between the floor and this, this sound hole so that the low frequencies of the djembe can come out. Uh, those low sounds are also called the bass, or the bass tone. And that is uh, one of the first tones that we'll learn when we, when we play these things. So now, once you're sitting out the edge of your seat, you want to make sure that you get the djembe, and if you have a tall enough one that reaches the ground without you having to bend your back, uh, that's a good thing. So you, so you tilt the djembe away from your body, so out away, and then Bring the djembe against your body so that there's still some space between the, the floor and the bottom of the drum. So you see how I've got it there? Now, you'll need to adjust yourself according to your height. Uh, if your drum uh, allows you to, if your legs allow you to, you can wrap them around the front of the drum like so. If your legs don't do that, they're not quite that long, don't feel bad about yourself. Just do the, I call this the thigh master technique. So you can use the, the thighs and also uh, the ankles. I like to, to put my, near my feet around the drum. So now that we've got this, we're in a good position to be able to play. The idea is that we want the drum to be just a little bit above the knees. We want to avoid, I see some people try to play like this. So you can see how uncomfortable this might be very quickly. We also want to avoid this, which is uh, just unsightly. So we want to at least be able to, to look like we know what we're doing. All right, so just a few inches above the knees. And when we strike these things, we, uh, we want to make sure that we're in a position to do so. So what I want to just point out is that you want to keep your spine relatively straight so you don't want to slouch or have any strange position. Uh, you want to be able to sit for longer periods of time so that you can be comfortable and enjoy yourself. And so that is how to sit with the gym man.